Hello, hello, hello. Let me know if you guys can hear me. I am here tonight to help with all of your Halloween candy apple questions. Let's get those candy apples together for Halloween tomorrow. So if you have any questions tonight, I'm here. Now, if I don't hear anything from anybody, I'm going to cut this live off. You guys said that you needed help, and I am here tonight to help you guys make your candy apples, or if you are having any issues with anything related to your Halloween candy apples I am here tonight. Halloween is tomorrow. Let's get those Halloween candy apples together. So if you need any kind of help in reference to your candy apples for Halloween, I am here. I haven't been on live in so long. I am trying to figure this out right here for those who need help. You can also comment down in the comment section if you have any questions about anything in reference to your Halloween candy apples. This is for the Halloween candy apple help tonight. Okay. A few people supposed to come on live. I know a lot of you are camera shy. Right now, I just do not feel like being on camera myself. So I know how that is. So right now, I am here live to answer any questions that you guys have in reference to any candy apples for Halloween, candy apple bowls, your candy apple mixture. Let's get on ahead to the candy apple mixture. Um, a lot of you have questions about that. Which candy apple recipe to use? Um, what's best? So with that being said, give me one second here. Okay, so, okay, so someone came in. I see you, Tracy. Okay, so if you have any questions, just comment down below and let me know what question you have. Or if you need to, um, if you are in my Facebook group and you have requested the link to come in, um, I have already giving that to you okay renee thomas says i have seven granny smith apples what is the ratio of mix that i should make okay so renee since you are just making seven candy apples um are they small medium or large and um pootie 15 I see you. Um, I will answer your question as well. How many apples does a typical batch make? So, you guys, if you go to the section on my YouTube page and um, click on the About section, I have the candy apple recipes that makes up to 24 candy apples. If you don't need that many, Okay, so they're small Granny Smith. So go with the 431. You'll be okay with that, um, Renee. So that's four cups of sugar, three cups of water, and one cup of light corn syrup. 
So that will get you covered. That will get you covered. Um, now, Pooty15, you ask how many apples does a typical batch make? It depends on how many candy apples you are trying to make. That's why if you click on the about section on my YouTube channel, I break it down. I break it down. You need 24 apples. You need 8 apples. You need 3 apples. I break it down. So the thing here is as a beginner, as a beginner, we are typical, you know, you're typically trying to get 12 apples. Some of these candy apple recipes don't work for 12 apples as a beginner. And I am not here. If you know me, you know me. So you know I am not here to knock anyone down or anyone's candy apple recipe down. I am here to help my subscribers and my viewers any way possible that I can when it comes to making these candy apples because I once was a beginner so I know how it is making candy apples I know how it is when I am trying to make a dozen of candy apples and can't get there I just want you guys to get to the basic I want you guys to get to the basic 12 candy apples if you can get to the basic 12 because most of us sell our candy apples in dozens. So I don't want to have to reheat any candy or anything like that. Um, so the best candy apple recipe when you are trying to make 12 or more candy apples. The best candy apple recipe that I use is 641. 641 gets me six. Um, it gets me up to 24 candy apples and 641 candy apple recipe is six cups of sugar, four cups of water and one cup of light corn syrup. Let me answer some of these questions in here. So Tammy Fry asks, you're welcome Renee. Um, Tammy Fry here asks, when making the candy corn candy apple, if you have to reheat the orange, how much water do I need to add and what temperature do I need to reheat to? Just add a little water. I don't even measure. And that's another thing that you guys will, um, because you're dealing with three different colors, you have to move fast. And that's why I said as a beginner, if you're doing that candy corn, try two colors before you go to three colors. Because you must move fast. You really do. But if you have to reheat that orange color, just add, just add a cup of water and just get it re you know just reheat it until it reaches 300 degrees again but it should reach 300 pretty fast because you just cooked it okay so i hope that helps tammy so let's get on to the next question okay pooty 15 you're so welcome uh bridget monique asks hi is it best to add the wilton's white gel color first or the gel food color first Okay, so the Wilton's white, white icing color is gel um, food coloring. That is gel food coloring. I do not recommend, if you are trying to make white candy apples, I do not recommend adding white first. You want to add your white last. Bridget, that name is familiar. Bridget okay do you need do you still need that information are you making candy apples right now you're welcome tammy so with your white candy apples you want to wait until the end to add white now, if you are trying to get a particular color like blue, green, or something like that, yes, go ahead and get your color at the beginning. That's how I do. But you can also wait at the end because as a beginner, you may add too much gel food coloring. And okay, okay, Bridget, you may add too much gel food coloring. and You don't want that. 
so you want to add it at the end get a teaspoon and put your gel food coloring in so that you don't go over a teaspoon because gel food coloring will also make your candy apples thick so if you are adding gel food coloring at the beginning when making your candy apples be careful not to add too much i am heavy-handed myself I usually don't even have any issues anyways with the 641 candy apple recipe. Uh, that recipe is just so flexible. Okay, Poet Long. So making red candy apples, or so making red apples, excuse me. So making red apples, I have to use liquid whitening or white gel coloring, or is it the same? Okay, so with your red, now you must be careful when you're using white gel food coloring you want to use white any color you use it doesn't matter what color you use you want to use gel food coloring at all times when it comes to your candy apples when it comes to your candy apples make sure you are using gel food coloring I don't care what color you're trying to make. As long as it's gel food coloring, you're okay. And when making red candy apples, you want to be careful on that white. You're welcome, Poet. You want to be careful on that white when making red candy apples because if you add too much white, you're going to make pink candy apples instead of red candy apples. So I use Hobby Lobby Super Red. I use Hobby Lobby Super Red Candy Apple. Well, not candy apples. Sorry here. I use Hobby Lobby's Super Red Gel Food Coloring. And I am able to add a little white with Hobby Lobby's Super Red Gel Food Coloring because that is a super red if you guys have a Hobby Lobby in your area, I recommend you trying Hobby Lobby's gel food coloring. If you don't, you can also go online to HobbyLobby.com and you can order their gel food coloring as well. Bridget states, I made some, some yesterday and I'm going to make more tomorrow. My candy apples were sticky yesterday, but I do believe that I added too much of the green gel food color. Okay, Bridget, when you get sticky candy apples, it's usually, well, candy apples are going to eventually get sticky anyways. But if they are getting sticky at the beginning, that's because your house is either too hot or too humid. So you need to bring that temperature down or get that humidity down. Um, you can also use, instead of using, like if you are in a hot state like Florida or the Bahamas, instead of using that liquid corn syrup, you can use Lorange dry powder corn syrup. And I have that in one of my videos on sticky candy apples, um, how to prevent sticky candy apples. So just if you are in an area... Um, and you just can't help it. Whatever you do, your candy apples are sticky. You, it, it doesn't matter what you do. Your candy apples are just sticky. Try using that dry corn syrup by Lorenz. I also have that in my Amazon bake shop. If you want to get it there. Or you can get it on Amazon. It doesn't matter. Okay. Tammy states, also, I've tried attaching edible images. Way for paper, but it doesn't work. What do you suggest when putting images on candy apples have you tried when you use um have you tried the icing sheets try the icing sheets and see how that works for you but when it comes to your wafer paper try to dab um try to dab a little water on the back with like a treat brush or some yeah just a little water should work but i didn't have to add anything mine Mine usually just sticks on. Um, if wafer paper doesn't um, work for you, try the icing sheet or the rice sheet paper. 
Bridget states, I made purple yesterday, but only added two drops of the purple and two drops of the white. When I was finished, you could still see through the apple. Okay, so if you can still see through the apple, you need to add more white. Just be careful when you add more white. If you're heavy handed, put it in a teaspoon, but add more white. So in order not to make that mistake again, Bridget, just add more white. You're welcome. Hey, Express. Hey. So I'm glad I'm here because I know you guys are trying to get those Halloween candy apples done. So I'll spend the next hour. So I started at 8. I'll spend the next hour here. So at 9 o'clock, I'll be here until 9 o'clock. So if you, you're welcome, Tammy. So if you have any questions and related to anything related to Halloween candy apples or candy apples, period, or candy apple bows, I'm here. I'm here tonight. I think I will do this more often um, because it's so many who really needs help. Okay, Express, it's Tia. I'm the one that sent you the picture of the bow. Oh, let's give a hand clap for Miss Tia. <laughs> she was able to make the candy apple bows. I am so proud of you, Tia. That is a job in itself. When I first tried to make candy apple bows or treat bows, dessert bows, whatever you call it, it took me a million times to catch on. I'm telling you, it seemed like it never would work out. But I kept trying and I kept practicing and bam, I made a candy apple bow. Okay, so let's get back down to these questions. Um... Yes, Bridget, work on making candy apple bowls. You're so welcome, Express. Okay, let's. Go through these questions. Renee, oh, Renee gave you a hand clap. Shay states, hi. I have a quick question. I wash my apples in boiling water or baking soda and now they have like condensation, sticky spots on them coming out of the apple. What did I do wrong? Oh no, you didn't do anything wrong, Shay. That's the sap and the wax on your apples. You continue to wipe your apples down with a paper towel during the 24 to 48 hours until you get that off. That's wiping down that sap and wax that must come out to avoid bubbles on your candy apples. Express. I watch your video so many times. Well, good, because guess what? You caught on. You caught on to making candy apple bows. Okay, Tammy, I'll be looking forward to that. Oh, no, don't put your... Okay, so Express, I put my candy apples in the refrigerator and they became sticky and it almost seemed like the candy was melting. Is there anything that I can do? Okay, so your house is too hot or humid. Bring that temperature down or that humidity down in your house. I know it's fall time here, so when you're making candy apples, make sure your house is about 69 degrees. But if you put them in the refrigerator and it's still melting, you must be in one of those hot states like Florida or um, the Bahamas. Try using, is this something that happens all the time, Express or Tia? Okay, Shay, it's only been a few hours. Yeah, Shay, that's pretty much normal. That is normal. That's what you want. That's what you want. You want that sap and you want all that wax off your apples. So yeah, that sticky substance is that sap coming off out of your apples. It's nothing but sugars releasing. 
So you're just going to continue to wipe that down. That's why it's a wait period, 24 to 48 hours, to continue to wipe your apples down to get that off. So when it's time for you to dip your candy apples, you won't have any bubbles. Oh, okay, so your house is warm. Yeah, make sure, guys, make sure when you're making candy apples, even in the wintertime, even when it's snowing outside, you want to make sure that temperature in your house is cool. I love your channel. Thank you for your help. Oh, Shay, thank you so much. And thank you for watching and thank you for becoming a, a, subscri a subscriber. Okay. I'm drinking some water here. Okay, let me make sure I haven't forgotten anyone or skipped over any questions here. Okay, Bridget. Okay, that's a great tip. Our house was on 74. Yeah, yeah, you have to bring that temperature down. You have to bring that temperature down so your candy apples won't get sticky or melt. Okay, I was watching your 641 video. I would definitely be using it this weekend. Okay, okay, Tracy. Yes, it's a great candy apple recipe for beginners. It's really good. Another thing, I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but I cannot make caramel for the life of me. It keeps burning. Okay, so with that caramel, you need to make sure your stove is low. Your stove may just get too hot. Try not, in your case... Get your stove on three or four. Tracy states, Florida is very hot. My apples used to sweat a lot. I love to turn my air and fan on to get the humid out. Okay, guys. You see what Tracy just said. She said she lives in Florida. She likes to turn on her air and fan to get that humidity out of her house. Hello, Cold Pepsi. Hello, hello, hello. Yeah, I mean, I'm even in North Carolina, and I usually have my house, um, anyways, at 65. Uh, Express, I have an electric stove. Does that make a difference? Oh, no, no. I have an electric stove. A lot of us have an electric stove. A lot of us have gas stoves. I'm in Pennsylvania. It would be real cold soon. Okay. Also, when cooking candy apples, do we cook it on high heat or medium high? And when is the best time to place a candy thermometer on the pot? Okay, Bridget, do not cook your candy on high. Whatever you do, you're going to burn your candy. Don't do that. Cook it on low, medium, or medium. The highest five. I know some of you go to six, but the highest for me is try five. And it's, excuse me. And as far as your candy thermometer, just go ahead as a beginner, just go ahead and put it in the pot. But you want that candy thermometer to be in the middle of the candy mixture. Don't let that candy thermometer reach the bottom of your pot. North Carolina, I'm in South Carolina. Oh, South Carolina is hot. Now, it can get humid in South Carolina depending on which part of South Carolina you're in. Also here in North Carolina, too. I have watched your bow video a lot. I have, I have it only think. Oh, okay, Tracy, you'll get it. You'll get it. You'll get it. Bridget. Do five. Do five. Start out with five. Get a hang of it. Um, yeah, four to five is good. Don't go higher than five, Bridget. 
Okay, so um, Express, the pot that I use is in my Amazon bake shop. Um, I have two. I usually use the 3.5 quart. You can find that down in my Amazon bake shop. I've used that thing so much. It's about time for me to get another one. No, don't speed up the process, Bridget. <laughs> That's the biggest mistake beginners can make is speeding up that process. And then you're going to burn your candy or something crazy is going to happen. So uh, try not to speed up your candy. It will reach 300 degrees. Awesome. Okay, I will be purchasing that one for sure. Yeah, that one is pretty good. That one is pretty good. That's a pretty good candy apple pot that I use. I mean, I've used it so, so, so much. Okay, and another thing, guys. So, um, when you have a lot of candy apple mixture left, you guys can make some candy grapes. You can make lollipops. You guys can, you know, experiment with that. But in order to clean your candy apple pot, what I usually do is fill that pot up, not to the tip top, but I fill it up with water and then I let it boil on low until it forms back into liquid and then I pour it out. Now with the caramel, we don't never have any caramel left in my household. We eat that stuff up because not only do we make caramel apples, we will get some pecans and some chocolate, melt some chocolate, put the chocolate down, put the pecans down, put the caramel down, and drizzle some more chocolate and make turtles. So those are so good. Oh my gosh, it was so funny when I tried to clean the pot. My husband looked at me like I had three heads. <laughs> yeah, you got you to gotta be careful with that too because that stuff can, it seems like it's going to explode. And I agree with you on the 401. I was wondering why my mixture get thick so quickly and I would definitely try your cleaning method. Never did that one before. Yeah, I'm not, you guys, like I said, if you know me, you know I'm not here for anything. I'm here for anyone. I'm here for anyone. I'm supporting anyone with their business. Like in my treat group, I, that's what I want you to do is promote your brand, promote your business. It's just that that candy apple recipe just didn't work out for me. So if it didn't work out for me, I'm sure it didn't work out for others who are just starting the candy apple business. I just wanted to be able to make 12 candy apples. And I don't think anyone has even heard me say this because I'm not about that life. I'm not about that drama. Uh, I'm a straight forward person, straight to the point. Um, I'm here to support and help any way possible. If you guys knew my background as far as what I did for a living, I think you would more understand Um I've worked in HR, but the majority of my time, I, I volunteer a lot too. Um, and that's to help the homeless. And that's to help the homeless with housing, employment, any barriers they face. So I've always done it. And that's always been my cup of tea. So to bash anyone um, I think things get taken out of what is actually said. But, you know, that recipe works for many people. It just didn't work for me. And when my customers, actually I started 641 on a mistake. Um, I think my daughter had misplaced my measuring cups or something. And I just started adding water. And they actually liked that candy apple mixture. 
And they called me and told me, whatever you did, make my candy apples like that. I don't want them the other way because they were too thick. And, and that's the way um, that I've been making these candy apples ever since. Everyone, all of my customers love it. Um, let's get back to these questions. I put my pot on two and let it slow boil until it melts. Yes, let it form back into liquid. I asked you one of your videos, let's see, I asked you on one of your videos when you explained how to clean it, I was like, thank you, diva. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. Tell your husband he's welcome as well. <laughs> yeah, if when you're cleaning your pot, don't have your stove on too high because it will sound like that pot is about to explode you are absolutely amazing and i appreciate everything you have done you're so welcome you're so welcome your work is very pretty the first time i came across you on youtube i seen you make them cream sickle ice cream i tried it my husband loved it and i started following you glad i did oh okay that's been so long ago since i made those cream sickles but they were good <laughs> a heart of gold oh thank you i thank you thank you thank you and you guys are so welcome you're welcome tracy yeah so my thing is i'm here to help you guys, I want everyone to be successful. I want everyone to succeed. I want you guys to rock with these candy apples. I want you to really rock. And it's getting ready to be Halloween tomorrow. So if you watched my video, it took forever to upload it for some reason. But if you watched my Halloween candy apple tutorial tonight how did you like it <laughs> it was different it was different so it was different i bet you wasn't asleep you you couldn't be asleep on that one okay express states i have someone asking about a rainbow candy apple is that hard to achieve i'm a little nervous with all those colors so are they wanting a marble effect go to my facebook group and send me a picture of what you're talking about oh my gosh you're asking about the cream circle you're gonna have to scroll down in the videos um it's been so long ago it's when i first started youtube but they were good Shay, that is amazing that you do that with the homeless. That is a dream of mine. Fortunately, my brother was on drugs and homeless for a long time, and there's never enough help or resources. Yes, I, you know, um, I, I'm sorry about your brother's situation, but it's always been, it, it's just, I've always liked helping people. That's just something that I like to do. And for some reason, since COVID hit, it seems like so many homeless people came to North Carolina. I mean, they probably came to your state, but it seems like more than ever, I don't know where all these people came from, but it's a lot of homeless people. And where I live at, it's pretty expensive to live. But um, one thing I can say about my city, they look out for the cookout. So um, I, I can say that. Uh, no, she wants it layered, sort of like orange and white candy corn apple you did. How many colors um, express? Oh, they're good. They're so good. So, do you guys, no one else shares this much info, do you have a pricing apples video? Okay, yeah, I try to give so much information because, um, oh, seven colors, no, don't do that. Do it in fondant. I'm going to show you, there's something you can do, that you can do a candy apple. No. Don't do seven colors. 
that candy apple is going to be too thick. That, no, don't do that. I wouldn't do that. Don't do that. If she wants a rainbow, um, you can do you can do one solid color and you can make rainbow, get ra a rainbow silicone and do the rainbow in different colors. And you can go on Amazon and just type in rainbow, type in rainbow fondant silicone. Oh, that's great, Tracy. That's great. No, Express, that's not going to work with seven colors. Don't do that. Don't even waste your ingredients, your sugar, your time. Don't even... Don't even try to do a candy apple with seven colors. Three is the max. Yeah, that's too much. She just wasn't sure. Um, as far as price and Shay, I have a little video. I think I have like maybe one or two videos, but I'm going to go back and I may do another pricing candy apple video tutorial. It depends on where you're living um, as well as your price. Um, before COVID hit, the plain candy apples, a plain candy apple was five, and I believe a decorative candy apple was eight. But after COVID hit, everyone went up a dollar or two. I, I, I'm not going to lie. I went all the way before COVID, my decorative apples started out at eight. That no longer exists. So much is going on in the grocery stores. I mean, everything is sky high. My um, decorative candy apples start out ten dollars per apple. My plain candy apples start out. Well, my plain candy apples. I try not to. Um, I try not to be high, but you also must gain a good profit. So my plain, you could do plain candy apples, six, you can get away with seven, but six is a good number for plain. And as far as decorative, um, like I said, before COVID hit, a majority of us was starting out with eight. It just depends on what people want. Because the more they want, the higher that price is going to get. When I do rainbow colors, I use sand and sugar or do marble. Okay. Yeah, that's what I asked Express if she was doing marble. Marble is good, too. Excuse me. Okay, Tracy. Okay. So, um, and, and that's another thing. Um, you know, when you first start out, you get discouraged. You feel like you're not charging enough. I say, you know how much your products cost. You know how much time you put into it. So you can figure it out that way as well yeah that's a great idea I can do some rainbow candy apples that's a great idea oh Bridget you are ahead of the game because I am actually going to do a video tutorial before um, before Thanksgiving and I'll go over all of that stuff. I'll go over all of that stuff. Oh, thank you so much. Be Her Delights states, you have the best candy apple recipe ever. I love it. I love it. You guys are going to make me get up and go actually get a candy apple. Yeah, let, let me go get a candy apple. Um, because I just like that crunch. So, how many of you have already made your Halloween candy apples?
okay, I had to go get a candy apple. I'm back. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay, I'm so excited. Oh, you're welcome, Bridget. Express my three girls plus all of their friends. Love your recipe. Oh, that's so sweet. Tell them they're welcome. I made some for a party. I had none left. <laughs> oh, you're not going to have any candy apples left. I can tell you that now. I just made some yesterday for a birthday party. I had so many great, um, you said complaints. Do you mean compliments? So I'm, okay, so I have a candy apple here and let's, okay, can you guys hear really good? Can you hear this? Can you hear me tapping? <laughs> Let me try something. I worked all weekend, got off today, and did some Halloween themed strawberries, no apples. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, you can hear it. Okay, so what about this? I'm getting ready to bite into this candy apple, y'all. So, okay, the best way to buy... Okay, you can hear it. So, the best way... Look, guys. The best way to buy into your candy apple. Okay. So, the bottom part, you know, the flat part. So, take your bottom teeth, like, kind of up under it. Not all the way to the top, but kind of up under it. And take your bottom teeth... And this bite. Can y'all hear that? <laughs> Wait a minute. That wasn't good enough. You're good. You're good. Be her delights. I, I don't think that one was good enough. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, this is so good. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Y'all. <laughs> Let's talk about flavor. A butter vanilla. Man, that butter vanilla. It's not just vanilla. It's butter vanilla. And it's by Lorenz. I always use that. <laughs> I don't even measure, Bridget. Just put a... um. It depends. If you have 12 or less, just put a teaspoon, a teaspoon and a half. If you have more, put two, um, two teaspoons. I don't use those little drams. They taste like medicine. <laughs> Poet long. <laughs> Yeah, so this is the thing. Okay. So this is the thing with the butter vanilla. Okay. My customers don't even ask. You know how you get customers and they're like, well, we want watermelon, strawberry, whatever. When they order candy apples, when they first order, they don't ask. So I always use butter vanilla because that's what I like. And they call me and say, oh, I love it. I love it. And if they call for, they usually call every event, every birthday party. I mean, they be hooked on these candy apples. They don't even ask about flavor unless like they are doing some type of watermelon thing, candy apple or, or, or birthday party. Then they might ask for watermelon or something like that. But other than that. They don't ask. So I always use butter vanilla. I bought some from Hobby Lobby. 
haven't used it yet, but does it taste like vanilla? It tastes better than vanilla. It tastes way better than vanilla. I use butter vanilla for it. This butter vanilla that I use by Lorenz, I even put this in my chocolate chip cookies. Now, Bridget, when you use that strawberry by Lorenz, that's a thick. It's kind of thick, so you got to be careful. You really want to make sure you have a teaspoon on that. But that flavor good. Now, that strawberry flavor good. But the um, flavoring is thick. So you want to be careful because that can make your candy apple mixture thick. Excuse me. Yeah, try butter vanilla. And you may like the drams. I mean, I'm not knocking drams. A lot of people use drams. I just prefer butter vanilla. I mean, it's it's the bomb diggity. Yeah, so that's what I like, butter vanilla. Because when I use that, I'm telling you, my customers don't even ask about flavor. They don't even ask about flavor. When I use butter vanilla, they never ask about flavor. Now, if I made some candy apples again for them, they, I'll say, sometimes I might ask, is there a particular flavor? And they'll say, use the kind that you used the last time. And I'll say, okay, and that's butter vanilla. No, I haven't, I haven't tried cookie nip. I heard it was good for your cookies. Now, do you use it for sugar cookies or do you use it for chocolate chip cookies? Yeah, just use a teaspoon and a half for um, 12. Like, if I have 12 apples, I'll use a teaspoon and a half. If I have six, I'll just use a teaspoon. Anything over 12, I usually use about two teaspoons. So I hope that helps, Bridget. You're welcome, Express. So, um, is there anyone else out there with any type of question about candy apples? We have about... 12 more minutes here. Tracy, you use both. Next is your candy apple pot. Oh, you're so welcome, Bridget. I just want you guys to be successful. I really do. I really, really, really do. Um, let's talk about color. So, for Halloween, for your Halloween candy apples, um, I guess the colors will be orange, white, green, and black. For your black candy apples, don't add white, just use black gel food coloring. And that's, I do not like working um, with black gel food coloring. It seems like it gets everywhere. Um, black is a hard, it can be a hard color to get. Do not add white because if you add white, you're going to make your candy apples gray. Yeah, you have to get that good pot. <laughs> okay, Tracy. Oh, okay, so shade the butter vanilla is Loran's. You can get that from Amazon, my Amazon Bake Shop, Hobby Lobby, Michaels. Someone said Joanne sell it, but I never see Joanne's um, selling that. Um, and I go to Joanne's. I Man, I be in Joanne's Hobby Lobby. When I get off from work, it seems like those are my go-to spots: Hobby Lobby, Michaels, or Joanne's. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So with your black gel food coloring, if you're going to make black candy apples, wait until the end to add your black gel food coloring and do not add white. Add your black at the end because if you add black at the beginning while that candy apple mixture is cooking, you will have like a black cherry tint or a purple tint like Tracy just mentioned. So you want to get that super black. Um, Hobby Lobby has a super black and it works pretty good. And what I do with my black candy apples is I let my candy apple mixture reach 300 degrees and at the end add the black gel food coloring. At the end. Orange and white, those are easy. Green should be easy. The only problem you guys might have is with the black candy apples. I wouldn't recommend, I mean, if you really want to make black candy apples, you can, but those, I mean, that black can get everywhere. Make sure you have on gloves when you're making black candy apples. Um, also, coloring fondant, you want to have on gloves. You don't want that dye to get on your hands or your fingertips. Bridget, now, um, I, it's okay. I mean, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. That corn syrup, that powdered corn syrup, it's okay. It, it's, it's pretty decent. It, it's pretty decent. You're welcome, Be Her Delights. You use, Tracy, do you put your black at the beginning or at the end? Because I use, now, if you use that, another thing, okay, so Hobby Lobby has super black in that big bottle, and they have super black in the little you know, the little bottles that I use all the time on my videos. Now, that big bottle, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's because it's more in it and they've added something in it. But with that big bottle, I usually, yeah, you can, I can see a tint. A tint color. So, use the smaller black. Do you use the big bottle, Tracy, or the smaller bottle? But when you get that tint color, is it usually the big bottle or the small bottle? I know I'm so used to adding my color at the beginning. And if I was to add that super black at the beginning, it will tint. That color will go like you'll get a purple tint or a black cherry color. And then, you know, it's like you have to add more black in order for your candy apples not to be see-through. I just do not like dealing with black. Okay. Well, all I can say is you probably need to add more black. Because if you're adding the black at the end, and I use Hobby Lobby Super Black, and I add it at the end to prevent that purple tint i don't get that black cherry i always get like it well i guess it could be a black cherry it's more a purple tint on mine if i was to cook it at the beginning so i always wait to the end and it seems like i have to add a lot of black 
it seems like I have to add a lot of black. That's why I don't like dealing with black candy apples. Because when you add a lot of gel food coloring, your candy apples are going to get thick. Okay, guys, we have five more minutes. I don't like black neither. Maybe I should use one tablespoon of black. Yeah, I, I don't. That's the one color out of all colors. That's the one color I don't like using. It can be any color. That's the one color that I don't like using. I love to use red. I know red is another color that's hard for people to get, but with the red, you super um, super red. I use Hobby Lobby super red, and that's a good color. So okay, so with your Halloween, let's get back to these Halloween candy apples. Um, if you have a Joann's, a Michaels, a Hobby Lobby. Um, you can get your gel food coloring um, from those. If you don't have those stores, you can also go into Walmart. Walmart has gel food coloring. Um, actually, that stuff is pretty good at Walmart. McCormick's. McCorm I was trying to think of the brand. McCormick's. At Walmart or your local grocery store, you can find um, you can find gel food coloring there as well. Thank you for sharing so much information with us. I truly appreciate it. I love red. They have so many different reds. But the super red, my favorite. Yes, I love the super red, Tracy. I love the super red. But, um, yes, you guys can get your, um, your gel food colorings if you don't have any craft stores like Hobby Lobby, Joann's, Michaels, go to your grocery store or go to Walmart and get McCormick's. Bridget states, I'm going back to Hobby Lobby tomorrow. So excited. Oh, I stay in Hobby Lobby. I might as well drag a mattress in Hobby Lobby. I live in Hobby Lobby. That's my spot. Now, that's, that's my spot right there. But, um... Get your gel food coloring if you haven't started cleaning. I hope you guys have started cleaning your apples already. Make sure you're wiping your apples down really good. Okay, Kimberly, um, have you tried Hobby Lobby Super Red? Kimberly states she can't get her red color right. What is she doing wrong? Oh, yeah, you'll, I mean, Hobby Lobby is addictive. So, Kimberly, um, use a Super Red. If you can't get Hobby Lobby Super Red, I recommend getting that. Um, you can't fail with that. Um, you may, what's going on? Are you getting a pink color, Kimberly, when you are trying to make red candy apples? Oh, yeah, Tracy, they have discounts all the time. They don't do those coupons anymore. Try, I don't use Chef Masters. That's the only time I use Chef Master is for the metallic gold, the gold and silver. So if it's getting um, pink, you're going to have to add less white. I don't recommend the same day method candy apples um, be her delights um, because, um, I mean, I know if it comes down to it, if I forgot somebody's order, if it came down to it, I have to do it. But I don't recommend same day candy apple method. Um, because you need time, those apples need time to release those sugars to avoid bubbles. 
Okay, so you don't have a Hobby Lobbies or Michaels. Is that okay? Um, you you can order online, or if you're talking about getting um, some gel food coloring for your Halloween apples, you can go to your local grocery store, or Walmart, and get McCormick's. You're welcome. Back to Kimberly with those red um, candy apples. Use less white, more red. But with Hobby Lobby Super Red, you guys can go. If you don't have a Hobby Lobby's or Michaels, you guys know you can always go online to their website and order these products. Um, Hobby Lobby Super Red is what I recommend um, when making red candy apples. That's the only thing that I use when making red candy apples. Um, that seems like that's the only gel food coloring that works best for me. I cleaned my apples today, but I think I'm going to make the apples Tuesday instead of tomorrow. So they're sitting for at least 48 hours. That You don't have to wait 48 hours. You can wait 24 hours, Bridget. I don't do um, slices for candy apples. Only caramel, Tammy. I, I, I don't mess with those last minute orders like the same day somebody call and want apples the same day. That put too much pressure on me and raised my blood pressure. I don't I don't take if someone calls and want candy apples the same day, I, I don't take those. I'll recommend them to someone else or just tell them I'm sorry. You're welcome, Express. Okay, so for the unicorn colors, Kimberly, with that, you always ask, you want to ask your customer, okay, um, what theme are you going with? Send me a picture of your theme. It can be the decoration, the tablecloth. It can be the birthday party plates. Um, you always want to, when you are making candy apples for a party, you want to get an idea of the theme colors that they are using. But just off the top of my head, I think a light pink, maybe that aqua color, a purple. Those colors that I did um, for, um, what's her name? What's that theme? Um... I just did some. Okay, you love their super red. I'm trying to think what is um something corner. Um Lord, hold on for a second, y'all. I forgot the name of that character. I have to go and look at my channel. Gracie's Corner. Before, okay, I got to it. Gracie's Corner. So those colors that I use with Gracie's Corner, um, I would use those, um, Kimberly. Yeah, you want to charge a last minute fee if it's something they want the same day. Yeah, I, I'll... I'll probably double the price with me, but I don't get customers like that. Hey, Queen Diva, thank you so much for all you do. I love your videos and all the great information you share with us. You're so welcome, Jen. Be her delight. Same day candy apple orders are very stressful. I've done it before, but never again will I do that. No, I don't do same day stuff. That That's too much pressure. I wanted to know if we can do a designer apple once a month like... Louis Vuitton or Gucci. Also some kind of funded designs like Tiana. Oh, okay. Wait, what's Tiana? Yeah, I refuse doing them too. I'm not going to do it. The For the red, Kimberly, super, um, super red. 
Hey, Queen, do you see my question about the candy apple slicing, slices cleaning process? Oh, okay. Um, oh, Princess Tiana. Oh, okay, okay. Um, Tammy, so let me go back up and see. Use the same cleaning process for the candy apple slices. Okay, so are you talking about caramel or candy um, for slices, Tammy? If you're just talking about caramel, no, you don't have to do that candy apple cleaning process. And Tracy states the princess. Tammy, are you talking about... Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, we can, we can start doing that, in fact. Um, the beginning of the year, I have some things planned for you guys. We gonna start it off fresh and new. 2023, honey. 2023. Mm-hmm. Y'all, it's 9.06. I really did enjoy being here. So, um... I'm, I'm trying to think what you guys need. Look, um, get some candy apple sticks if you can. Um, it's so late in the game. Get your candy apple sticks or make them. Have you guys? Oh, yeah, I, I ship cookies. Of course, candy apples. You guys saw that on one of my video tutorials. Um... Oh, I ship cookies all the time. Rice Krispie treats. Such as other fruits. No. No, y'all gotta, you gotta be careful. with You talking about like strawberries? No, I ain't doing that. Uh-uh. No way, Jose. I'm not taking that chance. About time the customer get those strawberries. Uh-uh. I'm not taking that chance. I don't care what y'all say. Mm -mm, I'm not taking that chance with no strawberries. <laughs> okay, me and your channel are gonna have a date. Oh my gosh, no. I am not shipping no strawberries. I'm not shipping no kiwi. I ain't shipping none of that. Uh -uh. Those customers get on the phone and blast me. Oh, no, I ain't set myself up. Customers be all on the phone talking about they candy off the uh, fruit. No, I'm not shipping no fruit other than candy apples. Yeah, time went by really fast, Tracy. Good night, Tracy. Poet Long, I didn't know you had a Facebook group. I would love to join. Yeah, it's, um, click on the, and I just put it up there about two days ago. I'm like, I really, I don't know. I didn't try to keep it private. I just didn't mention it for some reason. And one of the things is making sure you have a legit Facebook profile because you ain't getting up in there without um, a legit Facebook profile. If you have one of those, you know, fake Facebook profiles, you'll get declined. They should, Kimberly. Let me go on here and look. They should, Hobby Lobby. Let's see, Hobby Lobby's gel food coloring. I see. Let's okay. So I'm on the website and I am going to type in food color. Let's type in gel food color. I see the gel pens. Let's type in um food coloring
this is weird because I see everything but Hobby Lobby's gel food coloring. Let's try Super Red. Super Red food color. This is weird, guys. I'm going to, um, Kimberly, what I'll do is tomorrow, um, I'll reach out to Hobby Lobby about this because we do need it. I wonder if it's just something they don't ship. Okay, you're nervous about Strawberries Express. You have a good night too, Jen. Good night. Poet Long, I'm 47 years old. I have a legit Facebook. <laughs> Poet, well, and I'm not knocking these other countries, but these people, and even here in the United States, they do it. But um, you know these other these people from these other countries be um, trying to get in the Facebook. I don't know what they be what they intentions. I know what their intentions are, but I mean even people here have a Facebook, not real Facebook. Maybe just being nosy. You don't have to be nosy. Just come in with your real Facebook page. Good night, Bridget. Okay. So, Kimberly, I'm going to reach out to Hobby Lobby tomorrow and ask them about that gel food coloring. Um, I want, I'm thinking um, this just may be something they don't ship. So, I didn't realize that because I'm always in Hobby Lobby and I'm always buying stuff. But for those who don't have Hobby Lobby, this is a question. And, in fact, I need to write it on my to-do list. Do you guys have a to-do list? Let's see. Check with Hobby Lobby. Gel food coloring on website. And um, what I'll do is just post it in the community tab on my YouTube channel once I find out that answer, Kimberly. But just use what you got, your chef master, and use less white. Um, with that color, go ahead and practice using um, that gel food coloring with your chef master. And what you can do is just use water. I have a video on gel food colors, how to get the right color without wasting your ingredients. You don't have to use sugar, corn syrup, or anything. Just get a pot of water. You're welcome, Kimberly. Just get a pot of water, add your red, add just a tad bit of white, and that way you will get an idea of how to get that red. Good, good night, Express. Oh, Poet, you never heard of Hobby Lobby. I wonder if that's something... I thought it was everywhere. It may just be something in the South or I don't know. I don't know. But Kimberly, let me um go to my videos. Let me see if I can find it. And I'll post it here on the um right here. Let's see. I did a video on gel food coloring, how to get the color without wasting your ingredients before you even cook your candy apple mixture. So let me just go to videos here. And scroll. Okay, right here. How to make candy apples any color. Okay, so let me share. And I'll post it up. Okay. 
There you go. So, um, how to make candy apples any color. Yeah, so what you do with that situation is um, you just practice with your color to get the right color. That way, the only thing you are wasting is your gel food color. You're not wasting any sugar, corn syrup, or anything like that. You're just, you know, practicing with water and your gel food coloring. So it's okay if you don't have a Hobby Lobby. It's okay. Um, just practice with what you have. And, and that's one of the things you guys um, need to take advantage of. You don't have to go out buying everything. Just use what you have. You have a good night too, Poet. Okay. Good night. Yeah, just um just use what you have. And in this case, guys, I think I am going to wrap it up. It has been a pleasure um coming on. I just want to make sure you guys get those candy apples done for Halloween. I know your family will love those candy apples. You guys are going to do awesome. You guys rock. Yeah, they have a super red, Renee. They have a super red. Hey, Renee, it's you. I haven't been on live in so long. So, um, yeah, Hobby Lobby has a super red that I use all the time. But, um, you guys are going to rock. You guys are going to do well. You're awesome. I'll be here. You know you guys can reach me on my YouTube channel. If you have any questions, you know I'm here. You know I'm going to answer your questions. And let's just say good night to everyone. Everyone have a good night. Renee, you come in at the last minute. We are getting ready to end this live. <laughs> good night. You're so welcome. Good night. I am going to do this. I I am going to do this. I am trying to I, I I am going to do this more often. I am going to do this more often. I am also going to make it easier for you guys because I know a lot of you guys don't like being on camera. So there's another option that I can do as well. Um, good night, good night, good night, good night, everyone. Good night, Renee. Um, good night, good night, good night. I'm ending this live. Um, I got to get ready for work tomorrow. And you guys have a blessed night. Stay safe. Have a happy Halloween. You guys rock. Don't let no one tell you other than that. You rock. You rock, you rock, you rock. Bye-bye. Good night.